Tonight, a frenzy of violence at one of Jerusalem's holiest sites, threatening to ignite the region. Video showing Israeli riot police storming the Al-Aqsa Mosque, beating people inside with guns and nightsticks. Palestinians responding by shooting fireworks inside the religious compound. Police say they went in after extremists barricaded themselves inside overnight and stockpiled improvised weapons. But Palestinians say they were sleeping in the mosque as part of a Ramadan tradition. They attacked us inside there. All the young people inside are suffering, she says. Around 400 arrested and dozens injured, according to Palestinians and Israeli troops on high alert. This is the Lion's Gate. It's one of the main entrances to the Al-Aqsa complex. And you can see heavily armed Israeli security forces control the way in and out. The violence, a grim start to Passover, the major Jewish holiday which will last for the next eight days. With fears of more to come in the final weeks of Ramadan, the holy month for Muslims. Some of those concerns realized just hours after the raid in Jerusalem. Rockets fired by Palestinian militants from Gaza. Israel responding with airstrikes against the militant group Hamas. Al-Aqsa is the third holiest site in Islam, but sacred also to Jews who call it the Temple Mount. It's the most sensitive spot in Jerusalem and a historic flashpoint. Two years ago, clashes at the mosque helped ignite an 11-day war in Gaza. And in 2000, a controversial visit by Israeli leader Ariel Sharon sparked five years of violence. Now worries the delicate balance at the holy site may be falling permanently apart. How does it feel for you to see violence like that in this holy place? It, it's heartbreaking. Dr. Mustafa Abu Sway is part of the council that administers the mosque on behalf of the world's Muslims. Al-Aqsa Mosque is part of the faith of almost 2 billion people. It's very, very important and it has been a mosque for 1,500 years and this is very important. Uh, let's not be drawn in the details. Uh, the big issue here is that it's part of an occupied uh, city. Easter, Passover and Ramadan all arriving at the same time this year. Celebrated in a holy city tonight on Edge. Raf Sanchez joins us tonight from Jerusalem. And Raf, last time we checked in with you, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was under real pressure from all types of Israelis over some of the stuff his government was doing there, especially when it came to issues with the court. And now we have issues with the far-right movement in Israel, and they're upset with Netanyahu, and they're telling him how to handle the situation there at the mosque. Yeah, Tom, that's right. Netanyahu himself says he wants to calm the situation here at the Al-Aqsa complex, but he's under real pressure from the far right of his government. One of his far right cabinet ministers saying earlier today he wants to see more intensive Israeli airstrikes in Gaza, and he wants to see Israel use a much firmer hand here in Jerusalem. Now, Hamas, the Islamist militant group who controls Gaza for their part, they want to present themselves as the defenders of the Al-Aqsa mosque, and they're prepared to use force, they say, to keep the Israelis out. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.